Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Midnight Fire. God bless you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us on this beautiful morning. Hallelujah. New mercies are awaiting us on this morning. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and we will be glad in it. I just choose to bless the Lord at all times. Amen. And I let his praises continuously, continuously be in my mouth. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. And because he's good, he's worthy of our praise. He's worthy of the honor. He's worthy of the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for being a part of Midnight Fire. Glory to God. Tonight, we're going to reignite your fire. We're going to equip you and empower you. You're going to be strengthened on this morning. Hallelujah. You're, you're going to be, uh, glory to God, the glory of the Lord is really going to rest upon your life. In the name of Jesus, we're believing God for greater because God has already released the greater. Hallelujah. God is strengthening you. He's encouraging you. He's refreshing you. He's renewing you in every area of your life. So thank you again for coming on. Please share the broadcast. Please share. Let others know that we are on. Glory to God. And so we, uh, we're grateful for you, for each and every one of you. Again, we are super excited about what God is doing just in the lives of his people. Glory to God. Not just us, but in the lives of his people as we've been traveling, as we are preparing for the Global Mega Suddenly Conference, August the 2nd through the 4th. We are, I'm telling you, God is just doing some amazing things, bringing people um, together. People are, are registering and, and coming and calling and really, really excited. So if you have not registered, go ahead and do that. Very, very important so that we can make sure that we have room for you um, because people are really, really excited. So thank you again for your continued support. I just want to make a couple quick announcements in reference to the Global Mega Suddenly. It, it, it is a free event, but if you register Premier, and, and so registering will certainly get you um, some great um, advantages. Yes, you will of course have Premier seating, but we're going to give you the copy of our newly released book, Sudden Breakthrough. You will be the first ones to receive that it's going to be a signed copy from um, my husband and myself and so you certainly want to take part in that of, of course we will also you will also have the opportunity to choose between um, Thursday's marketplace luncheon or Friday's ministry luncheon that uh, also will be a part of the premier seating so we really want to bless bless you love on you guys it is um, you're you know we're almost giving it away um, for the most part because of everything that um, we're giving out and our experts that will be a part of those um, luncheons on that Thursday as well as that Friday different ones different voices um, but they're really going to empower you equip you and take your ministry and, and what God has given you to do in the marketplace to a new level. Amen. Glory to God. We all want to grow, right? We all want what God has given us to do. We all want it to be successful. And sometimes we need extra tools in order for that to take place. So again, we're excited on that Saturday. We're going to have a Caribbean barbecue on the beach. Yes, we live in Florida. It's going to be super duper amazing. People come from all around the world to come to our beaches here um, in Florida as you know so we we want you to take part in that as well and uh we're just we're just i'm telling you we're just expecting god to do some amazing things we've seen the hand of god as we've been traveling um since last year with suddenly in each place that we go we see another level of glory uh, of what god is doing and releasing in the lives of his people so again thank you guys for coming on thank you so much for being a part we truly um, love value and appreciate each and every one of you Wow. You know, I was, uh, as we were looking at that title, uh, I was thinking about the scripture from 2 Timothy uh, chapter number, uh, well, chapter 1 and verse number 8, or uh, verse 6. It said, Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou served the gift of God which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. Yes. And last, last night we were talking about how uh, we really believe that God literally was going to do things. He was going to accelerate things. He's going to move things for his people. Yes. And, uh, you know, and today I talked to several people and people are, they're in expectation 
but simultaneously it's as if there's some that's in expectation there's some also that's weary in well-doing uh and you know what the scripture says it says that don't be weary in well-doing for in due right. season we shall reap if we faint not yes. but i think this is why paul told timothy to stir up the gift that was in him by the laying on of his hands and so uh it, it really meant to it was a word that they used uh basically uh and it was uh you know when we say stir up it was anazopareo, which was a word which literally means to uh, become a, uh, you know, like a pyromaniac, you know, <laughs> meaning that, that we set fires, that we light fires. Yes. And so it's so important to stay around people that will keep your fire lit because sometimes we will get weary, we will get tired. But he, you know, and here's, the, he, here's the deal. You cannot lose with God. Every promise that he's yes. given you, everything that he said that he's going to yes. do, he's going to do it. You just got to know it and you cannot allow the enemy to get you into a place or even your thinking process to get you into a place where you do not stay stirred and keep your gift stirred, keep your anointing stirred. Stay around people. Stop getting around people. Stop getting around situations that causes your fire to go down. Amen? Yes. Stay in a place where you can keep your fire lit, you can keep your fire burning because I promise you everything that God said is going to happen in your life is going to happen for you. Amen? Yes. You just got to keep moving, keep stirring, keep yes. keep going and keep believing God and keep trusting God so that you can get to your, your assignment and get to the purpose that God has for your life. Amen. And so you got to keep your fire stirred. You cannot allow, uh, you, you cannot allow life and situations and relationships and other things to actually put out your fire. Right. And, 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 and you know, I'm talking, I'm talking to pastors, I'm talking to yes. leaders who over the last couple of days have gone through traumatic situations in their ministries, in their churches, business leaders who've gone through tra tra traumatic situations in their businesses. And some of them are just tired, but I'm telling you, and I'm prophesying to you tonight Jesus. that in the name of Jesus, My that every God. prophetic word that God has Jesus. given you, it's going to come to pass. This is why God told Habakkuk to write the vision, make it plain, that yes. they that that, uh, that read it can run. Uh, and, and, and so you got to know, you got to get that in your spirit, and you got to know that the promises that God has for you are yea and amen, that everything that he said, he's going to bring it to pass every day. Oh God, we thank you even tonight that every assignment of hell has been framed against your mind and against your faith and against your ministry and against your business, that we annihilate it now, and we declare that the fire of God is being reignited in your life. It's being restirred in your life. Your strength is coming back. Your power is coming back. Come on. Your hair is growing back. <laughs> Everything that you've gone through, every yes. storm and every trial that the enemy has tried to destroy you and take you out in, you'll get ready to bounce back. Even all of your enemies, all even everybody that is looking and waiting on your demise. Let me tell you something. There were people who have watched God bring you back. You, 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 like, uh, you like the cat with nine lives. You come <laughs> back and you bounce back. But let me tell you something. You're going to yes. bounce back again. And so there are people who are sitting on the sidelines uh, who, you know, who who uh, were once connected to you or, or people that counted you out. Amen. Mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, family members, even people that were once connected to your business or your ministry and they literally counted you out. But I'm telling you tonight that God is getting ready to bring you back. He's getting ready to bring you back. He's getting ready to uh, reignite your fire, reignite your power, reignite your strength. Amen. Yes. You're getting ready to come back from places that people thought you would never come Jesus. back from. Listen, we serve a God of the comeback. Jesus was the master comeback artist. Amen. Amen. When he came back from death, he came, he brought the your young lady, uh, uh, Jairus' daughter back from the dead, resurrected her. Come on, we're the, we're the only faith belief system that has a resurrected Savior. Amen. Yes. And so we believe God, we trust God, even with Lazarus. Lazarus came back. He told him to arise. Your situation may look dead, but God has the ability to uh, reignite it and cause your fire to burn again. Yes. Even, you know, even as it would pertain to Jesus, you, you, you know, he laid him in the tomb. Here it was Friday, and here it was three days later, and he arose even as he said he would. Yes. He has the power to reignite a dead situation. Jesus. Amen. And the Lord same power God. that arose Christ from the dead dwells in you, operates in you. The reigniting power of the Lord Jesus Christ is inside of you, and so we speak to your life tonight, and we decree that you're coming back from every situation, every circumstance, every trial, every storm, every letdown, every disappointment, everything that the enemy has tried to do, everything that life has tried to do, even everything that people have tried to do to take your fire out and snuff out your fire. We Jesus. declare that your fire tonight is going to burn brighter than it's ever burned before. Your, your Oh God, you're going to be lit for God. You're getting ready to burn for him. You're getting ready as my wife said, be like a wildfire. Father, we declare tonight yes. that wildfires are being set in the lives of your people. God, that cannot be contained, cannot be controlled, cannot be ex extinguished, Father. We declare that you're getting ready to do amazing things for them in Jesus name. Amen. We declare it to be. So what are you thinking about that? You know, absolutely. I, I tell you, I begin to 
bit so stirred because one of the things that God was saying, even as you were praying, is that some of you are dealing with the spirit of regret, that you have regretted some decisions that you've made, and it calls you not to be as passionate about your ministry, about your family, about what God had given you, the vision that God gave to you. But even now, we uproot, we destroy, we annihilate, we, we utterly destroy every spirit of regret that has tried to come and tried to paralyze you and try to cause you to, to, to hold back and to not move forward. In the name of Jesus, it is null and void. It is of no effect in your life. In the name of Jesus, you are passionate again about what God has called you to do, about the vision, about your business. Glory to God. There is a new passion that's coming inside of you. Glory to God. There is a new vigor that is arising upon you even now. There is a new strength. There is a new power. Glory to God. There is a new praise. There is new worship that God is that you are, that God is releasing upon you that you're going to release in the earth. Come on, God is, is giving you something new tonight. There is a refreshing, there is a renewal, there is a replenish, there is a reviving. Hallelujah. He's reviving your, your spirit. He's reviving your heart. Glory to God. Some of you seem like you've been in cardiac arrest. It seemed like your heart gave out, yo. You became weary. You became tired. You wanted to just give up. You said, you know what? It's not going to happen. I tried and I tried and I tried and it seemed like nothing has happened. Nothing is, is really going the way that I want them to go. But we are here to declare to you on this morning. Come on, you better mark it on your calendar on this morning. Glory to God. God has sent you help. Come on. He sent help to you. He's come to strengthen you. He's come to empower you. He's come to ignite that fire. Hallelujah. That you thought had gone out. Your passion even for prayer. You're like, God, I don't even, I don't even want to pray anymore. But the devil is a liar in the name of Jesus. God is breathing his breath upon you. And when they're, when the fire seems like it's going to go out, then they begin to fan the flames. Come on. They begin to fan the flames. So we got to put oxygen. And so even now, the word of God comes to bring you life. The word of God comes as fire in the name of Jesus. You serve the God that answers by fire. And that's the God that we serve. Come on. He's Jehovah. He's Elohim. He's Adonai. He's Lord and master over our life. He's El Shaddai. He's a God of more than enough. Glory to God. The enemy tried to let you, tried to cause you to believe that the God that you serve was asleep, that the God that you served had changed his mind concerning you in the name of Jesus. Come on, but the devil is a liar and he's also a loser. And so even now in the name of Jesus, there is a quickening in your spirit. Glory to God. Glory to God. I just see, I see in the spirit like this huge match and it's being lit. Hallelujah. It is, it, the, God is striking the match. He's striking the match. Hallelujah. You're going to burn for him. Your, your glory to God. Your praise is going to burn for Jesus. Your worship is going to be on fire. You, your tongue is going to be on fire in the name of Jesus because God has given you the Holy Ghost and fire. Glory to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. And so with fire, it's going to bring heat. With fire, it's going to bring light. With fire. And sometimes as we know, in a fireplace. It brings comfort. Hallelujah. But God is sending forth his anointing, his grace, his mercy, his peace, his love, his glory into your life even now in the name of Jesus. Today is your day. We declare it over you now. Today is your day. All things are passed away. Come on. It doesn't matter what happened yesterday. It doesn't matter how many tears you cried yesterday. Today is a new day. Come on. You've entered into the new in the name of Jesus. Come on. When the clock struck 12 in the name when it struck midnight you entered into a new season glory to God glory God had you on this on this broadcast in the name of Jesus you had to be on this broadcast we had to be here we had to come together on one accord in the name of Jesus your faith connected with our faith and it, it became kind of there was an explosion that took place in the name of Jesus Glory to God. Yes, yes. Glory to God. There's an explosion that's taking place in the name of Jesus. You See, you don't realize you're strength to us. Glory to God. We're strength to you. And when we come together, it's not just one plus one equals two. No, one plus one equals 10,000 in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're stronger together than we are apart. Don't let anything or anyone get you out of place of where God has positioned you because wherever God has positioned you, you, that's your power source. Mm. Wherever God has positioned you, that's where your provision is. 
It may not look like it. It may not seem like it. And the enemy will always try to cause you to believe that it's not what God says that it is. If he can ever get you to doubt what God said, he will always get you to disobey God. But this is the hour that your eyes will become open, that you will begin to see the things that God has, has said. You begin to hear. You begin to hear in the spirit. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Even when you don't see it, you'll be able to hear it in the spirit. You'll be able to hear the sound of the abundance of rain. You'll be able to hear armies arise and you'll be able to hear glory to your name, Father, chains falling off, walls falling down. You'll be able to hear it in the spirit in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. There is increase. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Dry your tears. Hallelujah. You don't have to cry over that thing anymore in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because you are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. Old things are passed away and behold, all things are becoming new in the name of Jesus. You're going to see things differently. Glory to God because you're going to see what God sees. You're going to say what God says. You're going to hear what God has spoken in the name of Jesus. Jesus. There would not be any doubt. You're not going to second guess yourself in the name of Jesus, even if, come on, there are some times when we do make, may, may not make the right decision all the time, but because of the God that we serve, that he's making sure that it works together, even when we fail, even when we don't do it right, even when we get it totally wrong, he's still able to make sure that it works together for your good because you love him. He knows that you love him and he knows. And one of the things about God, even though God requires us to have faith in him, he has faith in you. God has faith in you that you're going to endure. He has faith in you even as he had faith in Job. He asked the devil, he said, have you considered my servant Job? I'm going to allow you to do this, that, or the other to him. But I already know what the end is. I already know I'm going to give him double for his trouble. So go ahead. I'm just setting him up for the double. And so that's what God is saying to you on this morning. It was just a setup. He was just setting you up for the double. Some of you are, have, are going to get triple. Some of you are going to get quintuple uh, for your trouble in the name of Jesus. Come on. We can't just stop with double because we serve a God of increase. We serve a God of the exponential in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So it was just a setup. What you thought was a loss was really just a setup because your, your plenty is right here. Your plenty, your overflow, your increase, glory to God, your breakthrough is right here. You thought you were going to break down, but let me tell you something, you're about to break through. That's it. Yes. He said something yesterday that the enemy thought he was going to consume you in the flood. Yes. But he didn't know you were anchored. Anchored. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Girl, you, you were anchored. I was like, oh my goodness. When that dropped, I was like, oh my goodness. So I, I began to look at a scripture. I began to look at this scripture. And so I'm going to, I'm going to try to find that scripture about that. Um, because it really, really blessed me as I began to, I began to look at it. I don't know if someone has it. There was, um, let me, let me see here. I think it's on. Um, because one of the things that God is so amazing at, he will, he will certainly go back to his word. He will take you to his word. When God begins, it's Hebrews 6 and 19. Hebrews 6 um, and 19. And um, just, just amazing. God will give you his word. And, and so he will always back up what you feel like he's saying, even in his word. He'll say, go to this or find this. Sometimes we have to search for it. Amen. Even though God gives it to us, sometimes we still have to search for it. We still have to go after it. We, we, have, to, we have to be like a, like, like, you know, like a pit bulldog, you know, a pit dog. Um, we, have to, we have to really go after it and hold on to it and not let it it go. Six and what? Six and nineteen. Yeah, which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, be both sure and steadfast, and which enter into that within the veil. Yeah. Which hope we have as an anchor of the soul. Amen. So the hope of God is an anchor to our soul. Yes. To our mind, will, yes. and emotions. It's Amen. the hope of God. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. My hope, and that's uh, the hashtag I said, my hope is my anchor. Mm, that's good. Yes. That's good. So the enemy can't take you out. He can't yes. consume you. Can't be Life moved. can't consume you. You can't be moved. 
Amen. You're going to be reignited, amen, for the things of God and for the passions of the things of God. Jesus. Uh, because God has more for you to do. I was telling somebody today, I was doing uh, a training today, at a, at a, a leadership training at an at organization. And as I was there, there was a leader there that had gotten weary. They had gotten tired. Yes. And I said, it's okay for you to take a, take a break every now and then. It's okay. It's human for you to take a break. It's okay for you to take a nap. But listen, whatever you do, don't stay on the sideline very long. Don't, yeah. don't stay out of the game. Get back in the game because life wants you to get to the place where you're burdened down, you're tired, you're frustrated. But that's not the case. You've got to get to the place where you're able to be able to know that God is not going to let the enemy take you out. Yes. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. Because see, that's what the enemy has been um, after. He's been after your hope. And your hope is your expectation. Your expectation of the things that God promised you. Your expectation of God answering your prayers. And so if the enemy can take your hope that you don't, that you don't expect God anymore. You don't expect God to do it. You don't expect to prosper. You say, you know what? It's just over. It's going to be this way. It is what it is. It's going to be just like it is. And so uh, um, you, you have to begin to hold on because hope allows you to, to be steadfast. Mm -hmm. Hope says, I'm not moving. I don't care what happens. I don't care what it looks like. I know my God is faithful. Mm -hmm. All the days of my appointed time, I'm going to wait until my change come. I'm going to wait right here because I know my God. I know the God that I serve. And so your hope, it, it, it anchors you. It causes you to be steadfast, unmovable. You, you're not moved. You're not tossed to and fro because that's what happens when the enemy begins to send storms. See, the storm will, will cause you um, to, to, to be tossed if you're not anchored. Mm -hmm. If that's you're not good. anchored. If you're not, you're not on a solid rock, yes. when the storm comes in, it'll, yes. it'll take you out. And, yes. I, and I, really, I really believe that one moment you're in, one moment you believe, one yes. moment you, you don't believe, one moment you trust, one moment you don't know. But when God reignites your fire, lights you on fire, yes. listen, let me tell you something. You're not going to be <laughs> wavered. You're going to stand still and it's going to burn up everything. Oh, God, that's even around you to even yes. come to you. I pray for God to light your fire so strong and you burn so hot for him that nothing around you, amen, nothing around you can stay around you that's not on fire for God. Amen. Jesus. And listen, let me tell you something about the fire of God. Uh, sometimes what, they, what they'll do in firefighting is that they will light a fire that defeats the fire. And so we're yes. going to pray that God lights a fire in you that, de that defeats all the fire of the enemy that's coming Jesus. against you. That your fire will Come literally on. consume all the fire and dark. Amen? That, 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 that when the enemy sends his fire against you, that it will literally be consumed by the fire that's on your life. And so my, my prayer, my belief, my trust is, is that God is going to do amazing things for you, that he's literally getting ready to change and transform your life, cause your life, amen, to be turned upside down for him again Jesus. so that his glory can be man made manifest, Woo! that you burn for him so bright and so strong, that you draw people unto you, that people see your passion and yes. your desire. Another term for fire can be passion, desire, mm -hmm. uh, hunger. But I pray the Lord makes you so hungry for him and so excited about the things that pertain to him, amen, that by the time you turn around, you know that everything that everybody that looks at you can tell that you are passionate about his things and about, about uh, you know about the things of the Lord and what you've got going Jesus. on. Let the tonight let the fire of God be reignited in your life like never before. Tonight let the fire that comes that cannot be quenched, that cannot be uh, it cannot be quenched, Amen. It cannot be uh, it, it cannot be controlled. Let that be your portion now. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we do pray, Amen. You know, some people are saying, "I want that fire. How do I get that fire?" back? How do I get my passion back? How do I get my drive back? And so one of the things that we have found that is that has really helped us in, in, in continuing to persevere and endure um, trials and tribulations and, you know, warfare and so forth, getting into that place, even as we were, we were on last night, um, yesterday morning, worship, worship will help ignite reignite that fire, getting to that place of worship that you're seeking after God, that you're loving on him, that you're, you're honoring him, you're extolling him, you're magnifying him, glory to God, you're, you're calling forth his names and you're referencing every name that he's been given because of course his names reveal to us who he is and the victory that we have in you, glory to God, as we begin to, to honor God through the word of God, as we begin to pray the scriptures, as we begin to, to, to just to 
just, you know, begin to, to speak forth the word of God. What has God said concerning it? I know what you see. And so that's a fact, but you got to know the truth. And the truth is the word of God. It is the truth that sets us free. It is the truth. Hallelujah. Glory to God that begins to, uh, to, to heal us and redeem us and restore us. It is the word of God. So as we get into that place of worship, that we're just, we're surrendering ourselves to him. Glory to God. We're not looking for any glory or any accolades. No, we're giving it all to him. Father, I know you are with me. I know you are my present help. I know that God, there is no good thing that you will withhold from me. I know God that you're in control of every situation. I know what it looks like. I know what the report says. I know what the account says. I know all of these things. I'm, I'm looking at it, but God, I don't even, I'm not going to, I'm not going to look at what I do see. I'm going to look to what I don't see. Glory to God. I'm going to look to you who is the author and the finisher of my faith. So in, in that place, God will, you, the Holy Spirit will begin to be reignited. Hallelujah. Your passion will begin to come back. Holy Spirit will begin to quicken you and, and, and begin to show you various things. God will begin to give you a strategic plan and begin to bring solutions to you for the things that are on your heart. So worship is a key. Praise is a key. Uh, reading the word of God is a key. And sometimes even God will have you to sow. You said, God, I'm sowing on this. I'm, I'm putting seed in the ground concerning this matter. And so these are some of the things that God has really, really used in our own personal life. And even in our book, we have a chapter, Catalyst to Your Suddenly Season. Amen. Yes, things that help ignite, help um, help with the momentum, thrust, yeah. the thrust. It helps to thrust you into that into that place that you're believing God for. Amen. Yes. Well, listen, we're excited about what God is doing <laughs> for you. We're thankful for all of you that are meeting us in Tampa in just uh, in less than two weeks. It's about 12 <laughs> days away. And so I'm really believing God for just something amazing, something tremendous that's going to happen in the lives of his people. Yes. I believe that God is literally answering and moving by his spirit and by his power. I yes. believe that God is reigniting many of you who are tired, who have gone through things. That's another thing that I really believe helps us when we get into environments with other believers where our faith can be stirred, where our faith can be strengthened, where yes. we can be reignited, amen, whether it's in worship in your local house. Listen, find a local church in your community that you can get to. Uh, yes. Sometimes it's one thing to watch something on the internet, but I say still, you need to find a local uh, church that yes. you can really fellowship other believers, that you can spend time with, that you can get around each other, that you can get your gifts stirred, that you can be in a place where, you, 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 uh, I mean, just where you can keep it stirred. Amen. Even as a pastor, it's necessary at times for me to get around other leaders, other, you know, to, for, for me to go spend time with my pastor and just have my faith stirred. Amen. Right. Don't, don't ever get to a place where you you, you know, where your faith is, is not stirred for quite a bit of time. Amen. Because that, that's how the enemy comes in and literally right. almost destroys us. Amen. We can become critical. We can become cynical. We can become uh, depressed and, and just stressed. And, and, you know, we can just look at everything through a negative light. But we got to really press into that new place, that new place with God, where we keep everything stirred. We stay fresh. We keep our second wind coming. Amen. We keep ourselves in a place where we ignited for the power and the purpose of God on our lives. Yes. And one of the ways that you say, how can I get that? You got to get yourself in into a place of, of just uh, really keeping it stirred, really get into a place of worship, get into a place, uh, you know, where, <coughs> where, the, where the power of God is manifesting, the strength of God, the worship of God. Amen. If you get into those places, amen, yes. you'll, you'll keep your faith stirred. Get in the place of, yes. of strong prayer, uh, strong revival meetings, amen, where, where God's people and where uh, there is a real grace and a real anointing for revival and for real, uh, you know, just for really reigniting your purpose and your power. Yes. Then another thing is, you know, another thing that keeps us going is our purpose. That's what keeps us going is purpose. Yes. When, when purpose, if purpose, purpose wasn't doing what it's supposed to be doing, we'd be in trouble. But purpose is keeping us going. Amen. Amen. Yes. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Glory to God. God is with you. He is certainly with you. He is, you are not alone. We're here to declare, and so you will know that you are not alone. Hallelujah. The Lord is with you. He has angels encamped all around about you to keep you in all of your ways. Glory to God. Yes, yes. You don't have to do it alone. Amen. God is with you. 
in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you on this morning. We we truly thank God for you. You are mighty warriors, mighty, mighty warriors, men of valor, men of strength, of courage and bravery, women that excel, women of power, women of purpose. In the name of Jesus, you are everything that God says that you are. You will do everything that God says that you will do, and you will have everything that God says you will have. In mm -hmm. Jesus' name. Well, listen, we're getting out of here. We got an early morning in the morning. Yes. But we love you guys and we bless you and we thank God for you. And we declare that the fire of God is being reignited in your life. That your next season is coming upon you now. That even the things that you've been believing God and trusting for, that that, that sudden breakthrough is coming. Amen. We didn't just, we're not just talking about it. We didn't just write a book about it. We didn't just get a t-shirt about it. No, we've seen the, uh, the, the uh, actual hand of God move suddenly in our lives. Amen. And so we've got, you know, we've got some experience with Jesus. this thing of God moving suddenly. And we, we believe and we trust him. Amen. 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 Well, we love you guys. Love you. We'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see you sometime tomorrow. Tune in to our Contagious Church broadcast. Yes. And uh, again, I just really believe that God is doing amazing things. And we love you and we bless God for you. We'll talk to you soon. Amen.